Hello everyone, so I'm just in your dollar store with more and I thought I would take a look at the Easter items. These eggs are very cute. I love the bunnies as well. And the carrots. They're a bit glittery, but let's see what else is here. Oh, look at the little Easter blue truck. This is similar to the red one that was available at Dollar Tree for Christmas, so this one's $2.50. I mean, oh, I love these. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of these now. Do I choose the larger one or the medium one? Yeah, I like this one. I do have a ton of things. Lots of little picks and even the little wreaths, if you can see here, and giant stickers. Look at these adorable plush. Oh my gosh, they're a little pricey for me, but super cute. So soft. These headbands can be expanded on the top of a wreath and then you can decorate and make it look a little bit different. So there's all, all of these options here that you can just stretch the headband across the top of a round wreath. And then you have like Easter bunny ears or something like that. I like the little hat, I thought it was cute. They have a ton of stickers here, but I'm gonna try to stay away from the Easter stickers because I have so many and I don't need any more. This is a cute little kit. The little paw prints. How stinking cute. They just make things so much fun, right? Oh, I love the little wood pieces. So Dollar Tree had a ton of these in different varieties. This one here is just the little bunny. These are awesome as well, like if you're using paper craft and you need little embellishments, the cupcake are perfect for making embellishments as well, especially the rosettes. Like little plaid lines or polka dots. I think I've shared how to make rosettes on the channel for Halloween. I'll post a link down below just so you know what I'm referring to. I mean, you apply it to a different theme of course doesn't have to be halloween themed i had so much fun making those years ago what else is here oh ribbon oh my gosh it's a bouncing egg how would that ever bounce it would go flying in every direction but it is cute almost looks like a little brown egg and they have little chicks here chicks and eggs and plates lots of stuff and some mugs. They have some signs here. They're okay. Not my favorite compared to the Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree ones. Lately I've been checking out wrapping paper as accent material. So if you have a piece of furniture, maybe in the back you need, you know, some accent or a wall. Oh my, I think we're all a class of 2020. This is almost like a, it's almost like a joke. The sweaters and stuff. Memorable year, right? Look at this. Pants and sweaters. Anybody want a piece of clothing that says 2020 on it? It's kind of like a polyester material. I have to tell you that these are not well made. They're not very durable. They look cute at first, but they're just not the best quality. You're better off to go to Home Sense or Marshalls and the price on these is just, yeah, they're not, uh, not worth it in my opinion. These are really cute. Little flamingo clips. Sometimes I look in the garden section just to see if there's little embellishment type things for crafts they do have some cute things that come out for the springtime their stuffies are just too cute they have some look at this one it's like a little basket a dollar fifty it's a little lamb oh it's so precious i wish it didn't have such a pointy nose then i would grab it 
It almost looks like a slipper, but it is a little basket. So stinking cute. Oh, this one is like a little pencil pouch. I'm not sure how much it is. I don't think it would be a dollar. Maybe it is. If there if there's no sticker on it, then typically they're a dollar. Little plaid one. These are so fuzzy, but they're a little bit pricey. I should grab the little white bunnies. I actually forgot to grab them. These are almost like an off-white. Do you see the difference in color? The other ones are more pure white. These weren't so shiny, I would buy them. But the ones that I have from Dollar Tree, I like because they look like real eggs. But this is a good value too, like if you want to marble effect some eggs and stuff like that. There are a few options. All right, so I am a Vim girl, and it's similar to what this brand, there, there's Vim on the shelf here. Who has access to Vim? Or Kif. Are they the same company line? I feel like they are. Anyways, if you know anything. See, here's some more Kif. But I buy this stuff in the Vim and it looks like the same logo. So I'm wondering. But Kif is not normally found at any of our other stores. This is Clorox. It's not too bad. I will say that they have like a lot of repeating. You can see like... They put their cleaning supplies, but it's on repeat. So it looks like a lot more variety than there is here. And I do find that their prices and some of the brands I'm not familiar with, but I do find the prices a little bit higher than other places. I think that they need to come down in price and then people will probably buy more of their cleaning supplies. But maybe people are buying who don't know, you know, that they're a little less expensive somewhere else. Anyways, we'll keep walking past this stuff because I don't think I see anything that I really need. They have gloves and different cleaning tools here, I guess. Garbage bags and compost bags. Garbage bin, there's only 16 garbage bags. Here's some of the big clear ones. I like having these on hand sometimes. That's not so bad. 30 bags for $4. These are similar to the ones that we buy at Dollar Tree, right? The same price. They don't have a lot here. I always like checking out to see if they have like a new type of brush. These are great if you're just doing like a dusting of your floor. They pick up everything um, more so than these orange and blue and pink ones. Oh, fuzzier one. Anyways, they always have some you know, brushes or, oh, these are from Target. They're just the refills, but I recognize this is the Target line. Well, that's not too bad. This entire box here is $2 for a bunch of refills. And they, I have a pack myself and they work well. Or a brush set. Not bad at all. A few different, you know, I'm not sure how strong the brushes are, but I'd say that's pretty decent. Like if you're cleaning your windows in the spring, just different uses. This is a portable brush. And portable brushes are usually a different size. Look at this, see? There's a little corner in this store where they just have a ton of buttons. 
and I always take a look and go through them and then I feel like I need to buy them all and it's really bad because they're so cute and you can use them for embellishments look at this little mushrooms they have little cacti in the desert oh look at that the little camper see I'm telling you they have the cutest buttons and then I have to control myself love the little prints They have so much yarn here. Look at this plush yarn, $1.75. This is perfect for pom-pom making and I think I just need this color. I have other varieties at home that I've purchased from Dollar Tree, so I think this is gonna work nicely with the other ones. But look at all the colors here. Isn't this crazy? I've never seen all of these colors before. Look, this is some more of that velvety stuff. I love it but I don't think I need white. At least I know where they are. I also like looking at their organization, but I have to say that I'm not fond of their prices when it comes to organization, especially like their little boxes and stuff, because I find that Dollar Tree and Dollarama carry the same ones for a lot less. So I look, but then I always remember, nope, that's not worth it here. It's amazing how all the dollar stores can carry similar products yet charge different prices, right? These are cute. I do have to say that they organize their wood all together in one space, so I really appreciate that. Like these are great if I need to do some wood burning. Um, these were at Dollar Tree. So I do like that they they put everything together. A lot of my Dollar Trees, like the wood is in an end cap and then it's down the craft aisle. These are so cute. So the one nice thing is see, you could see everything here and then shop for your wood pieces. I feel like Dollar Tree kind of needs to put all their wood in one space. Um, do I need more wood buttons? I can't remember. I think my the ones I have at home are like this. Oh, this is cute. See, I like stuff like this because it's nice and thin and then I can turn it into embellishments. All right, well. I hope you enjoyed walking through your dollar store with more and thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, everyone, bye for now.